So what's up guys? As you saw from the last video, the stepchild got smoked. But in this video, we're going to be trying to repair as much as we can. Um, I think Jonathan may get started on it before I'm able to get here. So I'm just trying to document how the car looks in its current state before we get the pulling and cutting to try to get this thing all sorted out. Um, this is pretty much the extent of the, the damage. The trunk is done. The spoilers, hopefully salvageable because these are really expensive and hard to get because it's a real cokey wing. Um, this center garnish looks to be still good for the most part. This tail light is smoked. Um, luckily from the last wreck, which was on the right side, I still have the left side tail light, which I'll show, which is mainly good, but I dropped it accidentally and broke one of the tabs, but it's good enough until my new set arrives. Um, the bash bar took the brunt of the damage because otherwise it would have, it would have probably broken the rear window. But um, just, you know, all this is pretty much mangled and tweaked and I don't think my fuel cell is gonna be savable, which kind of sucks. But it didn't break any suspension arms down there, but you can see the chassis rail is not too happy, but it's gonna be getting cut off anyway. But we were already planning on tubing the rear anyway, because I can't fit a bigger tire than a 245 back there with the stock body and rolled fenders. So it was already the plans for the New Year's, but this is just uh, sped up the process. So this is pretty much how the car looks. And um, we're just gonna get the pulling on it and get the cutting. Um, this is everything I have to repair it. The rear bumper also got smoked, but that was something completely different. It fell off and the guy uh, in a Mustang accidentally ran it over, whatever. But this is the left side um, light from the last set that I had. So this will be able to bolt up until my new pair arrives. And as you guys know, I have two body kits. So I already have a fresh bumper to throw back on there. And the exhaust, unfortunately, tacoed. So none of that's savable, maybe here. Um, the downpipe, the flange got twisted. So probably just putting the flange on there and then the tip got tacoed. But I do have my stubby tip still, so that's fine. Um, I do have the spare trunk which is in perfect condition. And then the main thing is I have the 2F Performance rear, 2F Performance rear clamshell that I'm gonna be putting on the car. And I believe these are like 55 mil wide. So to give me the clearance I need to be able to run a bigger tire back there so I'm not outgunned when I'm going up against guys running 285s or 265, 285, 315 tires. So I'm pretty much gonna to need to make the tube bracing for all that to bolt all this stuff up. But from now on, if I do get into any more wrecks, I can either just replace one panel or um, get the homies who know how to do fiberglass. And you know, if I can find many pieces, I can get this repaired. It's much cheaper than trying to repair mangled metal, needing a frame machine and tons of hours of body work. It's not worth it. So this was always the plan ever since the last wreck, which was like over three years ago. So, that's going to be it. Um, stay tuned, guys, and we'll see uh, how the rebuild goes. You know, rebuild it better. Things happen. It's all a part of drifting. So stay tuned, and we'll get cracking. All right, guys, back at the shop. This is pretty much giving you guys a basis of how the rear clamshell works. But first... Gonna hook this thing up and uh, start yanking on it to get it a little bit more straighter. So let's see how much we can get done today. <laughs> the homie Jonathan showed up. He's gonna be the my savior and That's right. fix my boo boos. <laughs> Multiples. Multiple boo boos. All the boo boos. That that one ain't my fault, but I'm gonna get it all straight. He's a fiberglass. Wizard, he's actually the one who fixed this guy's boo-boo from Mid Pond. There'll be more of those too. Yeah, more of those to come. So he's gonna have customers for, for the foreseeable future. Oh, yeah. 
keep fucking these things up, but one step at a time. Yeah, but he's the body shop right here. So he's, you know, he's the pro. So he, he's teaching us. Supervising. She's supervising. <laughs> yeah, I want to watch too close. Yeah. <laughs> This is the car after what you guys just saw in the time lapse. We got this. It's a lot more flat and pushed back out than it was before. It's way less crinkled, but it doesn't matter because it's getting all cut out anyway. But yeah. Stay tuned to see uh, what the next step is. Uh, maybe we're going to start cutting or doing something, but. Um, I'll show you guys whatever it is. side most of it not most of it but the most of the damage part it from what you've seen was cut off and it's gonna keep on cutting until all the bad is gone still gotta cut all this out too but we're getting there all right Here's how it slightly looks. Nothing's obviously permanent yet, but you get the idea. Easy to remove, <laughs> easy to replace, easy to repair. So, still gotta cut this side out and all that other stuff, but pretty much get the idea honestly I'm probably not gonna film anymore until it's all mounted just because I don't want to have a 476 minute long video so next clip of this I'm leaving it up to Jonathan huh huh <laughs> the next clip will be and done. I don't damn should I uh, damn next clip both sides will be at least on how about that Another day, this is everything cut out of the car. And this is the current status of the stepchild. We got no booty on this. It's looking like Taylor Swift back there. So Jonathan just did all the measurements for the fuel cell so we can um, send the measurements out to his buddy over at ART to get some bars 
pre-bent so we can get some type of little cradle cage and uh, mount the fuel cell. So current status of the car, I'll keep you guys updated as we get further along. current status of the car We've cut the quarters cut the whole rear out so we have to run and get like some seam sealer and stuff and then waiting on the tubes to get bent so once that's all done we'll come back and start uh boxing everything off i go get some sheet metal and stuff too so i think i'll keep you guys posted on how it's going kind of sucks because I had some time-lapse footage of him cutting the whole floor out but for some reason it didn't go through so it is what it is Fender is all cut and I just seam sealed it. It's about as good as it's gonna get. It doesn't have to be perfect. I mean, it's still gonna get smoke in there no matter what, but. The bars are getting bent. Uh, we won't have them until tomorrow, so we'll have to pick back up on that. Um, I'm going to seam seal the right side and that'll be pretty much for, that'll be pretty much it. Um, until we go get some materials and box that. But we'll wait till we get the bars and all that stuff tomorrow. So that's gonna be it for everything on today's part of the video, but it doesn't matter because the next clip will be some more stuff done. So stay tuned. Okay, I lied. They said that they weren't gonna have the bars bent until tomorrow afternoon, but apparently they got them done today. So heading over to the ART now, go grab the bars. Over here at ART, just picked up the bars. So, go ahead back to the shop and start welding these things in. Okay, here's where we're finishing off for today. I've seam sealed all of the right side. And you guys already saw before, seam sealed all of the left side. We have the bars. So tomorrow we're gonna come in and box the frame and just start mounting stuff, mount the fuel cell. Just, tomorrow we're gonna we're gonna try to get this um, as far as we can because um, I need to get these parts over to Chippy. So he can get painted because his trunk is super rough. It's got a ton of freaking fiberglass resin on it. I don't know what they were thinking. So that was gonna take some time for him to repair. So the goal is to try to get the majority of everything mounted so I can get stuff over to um, paint so he can start working his magic. So that's it for this part of the clip for today and stay tuned for the next part. Um, see how things are coming along tomorrow. All right guys. What's up guys, I'm back. And um, pretty much Jonathan and I have just been going ham on this car. Um, just trying to knock stuff out. We got tail lights mounted. Um, Fam shell was already mounted, but it was back on her just mocking up stuff. Jonathan is, um, he's boxed the frame. And we got the lower bar in, all welded up. 
Um, Jonathan ran off to Alro to grab some more metal. Uh, we still have to do a bunch of different tabs and stuff. We have the fuel cell over there. We're gonna be mounting that next. But pretty much just going crazy trying to get as much done as we can. I do have a lot of um, time-lapse footage of some of the welding and stuff going on. So if, if I can get the format properly, I'll go ahead and try to add that to the video clip here now. But yeah, so pretty much waiting on him to get back and we're gonna go ahead and uh, keep trucking along and get as much done as we can so I can get all the parts and panels and everything over to Chippy so he can get um, started painting on all that stuff. So I'll keep you guys updated on how it's going. All right, guys, we're back. Jonathan and I have been working tirelessly at getting this thing back together and pretty much there got the trunk again the latches lights are mounted bumpers mounted it's pretty much complete again working upper fuel cell mount welded on started mostly welded on um, so we're, we're gonna rip everything back apart and he can do all the finishing welding and I'm gonna take everything over to Chippy to get it all painted. So I think I'm gonna end the video here because there's really not much else you guys need to see. guys I get to weld this up and like I said before we're just it's not gonna be as nice as it once was before just trying to salvage what we can so I get to get some more weld practice in see what I can do well here are the results unfortunately the damn camera fell as you guys saw so I'm gonna try to mount that a little bit better next time around not bad, not bad. All 
All right, guys, there you have it. Both sides welded out. Pretty happy with how it turned out. Gonna let Jonathan uh, finish up the rest because uh, I take way too long to do this. So pretty happy with that. So we're just gonna keep on. What's up, Zach? Getting dirty, you know. All right, that's pretty much gonna be it for today. The exhaust is pretty much all done. Fixed, band-aided for the most part. We decided for now at least I'm gonna run my stubby tip that I have on there. Um, yeah, and then when I get my bumper, we'll probably end up doing a full tip, maybe at a later date maybe at the same time not sure but everything is painted so i guess uh i guess i'll go show you guys how everything turned out from paint so let's head over to chippies now just got over here to chippies it's got everything all painted pretty good for the most part pretty good pretty good pretty happy with it it'll definitely do Not bad. Everything's been repaired. The wing. <laughs> Looks good. That's the man over there. Thanks, bro. So, yeah. Gonna load all this up and uh, get back to the shop. I'm here at the local paint store and I'm gonna get, this is some leftover paint that I have for touch up paint, but I decided I wanna paint my rear bars the same color as the car. So got some self etching primer, got some 2K clear coat and hardener. <clears throat> got the little spray gun to help spray because when I painted everything black it was a pain in the butt and I'm gonna get this paint made up in some aerosol cans and gonna paint everything on there so getting that made up now and once that's done and we get everything welded up today I'm gonna go paint it and um, I'll show you guys the process of uh, painting the rear back dash bars or whatever you want to call them and if you're wondering what the trigger looks like for the can this is what it looks like because if any if anybody knows what it feels like to spray paint for an extended period of time you know you get the finger cramps really fast so hopefully this will help combat that pain in the butt basically the way this 2k primer works is you have this cap you take it off put it on the bottom you press it in and it makes the hardener come and once this mixes it's only good for about 24 hours all right so my battery mount showed up this allows you to be able to mount the battery sideways to the chassis so i figured i'm gonna go ahead and test out the new paint on this thing before i straight a bar so let's see how this goes Here's how it came out. Um, I filmed it in a time lapse, but I'm not sure how it's gonna turn out. But looks pretty good, pretty spot on. So we're gonna let that dry up and uh, go ahead and mount that in the car. We're getting there slowly but surely. the finished product primer base clear came out pretty damn nice 
or something that you're pretty much not gonna see, but I wanted to test it out and see how it was gonna look before I paint the actual um, bars and stuff. So pretty happy with that. So we're gonna let that dry and then um, mount that up in a little bit. Current update on the rear fuel cell mounting process. Jonathan has it all fabbed up, welded in. Just gotta drill the holes and mount it permanently. Also got some diagonal bars or down bars, I guess, for that. And just gotta make the rear lower jack point and it'll be ready for paint. But it's looking pretty good right now. Okay, here's where we're picking back up on the video. Um, the battery tray is painted somewhere. You guys already saw that. Um, pretty much the fab work is all done and welded for the fuel cell and everything. I just have to go get another, um, what is it called? A uh, notcher. The uh, blade ended up getting smoked when he was trying to notch the diagonal bars for the jack point. So no big deal. I'll go get one of those in the morning and he can finish making that. But we're, tomorrow is the last day that we can work on the car. So I'm just gonna paint everything except for this. We can paint that tomorrow morning and finish that up. But I'm gonna paint everything else and get that all ready to go. So I'm gonna try to mask off whatever I can and um, put this thing on a time lapse and see how it turns out. All right, I just sprayed all the self etching primer. Gonna let that dry a bit and come back and hit it with a base coat. Coming out good so far. Okay, I got the base coat all laid down. Just gonna let that dry. And then I'll apply the 2K clear coat. And then we'll finish the jack point bars tomorrow. But I'll let this dry and then go over it with the clear coat, show you guys how that turns out. Here's the final results with the clear all sprayed on. Pretty happy with how it turned out. It's nice and wet. So I'm gonna let this dry overnight and get back to it in the morning. I was able to get some more um, notchers. So as soon as Jonathan gets in, he'll be able to finish notching the rest to finish the diagonal bars and then I can prime and paint that. But that's gonna be it for this part of the video. And um, I don't think I'm gonna film anymore until, I'm not gonna film anymore until the car is pretty much back together. So um, next clip, everything will be back together. So stay tuned for that. All right, guys, here's the current update on the car. Everything is mounted. Cage is done for the lower jack point. Fuel cells back in, batteries mounted, surge tanks mounted, lines are ran. We ran out of time. We're gonna end up cleaning up all the wiring in here when I get back, but we just don't have any more time for that. Um, trunk is mounted. Overs are mounted. Uh, just got to put the trunk is mounted, obviously. 
you have a latch just have to uh, put the wing on get it off the lift put the skirts on um, the exhaust has already been re-ran new exhaust if you guys seen front bumper on grills on um, all the wiring's done so just got to get it on the ground get the skirts on get the wing on and the car will be good to go so that is the current update of the car pretty happy with how it turned out this is a lot of work and not a lot of time so we're getting there um, my new D Max tail lights still haven't arrived yet so once those come in those will get replaced but it's good enough for now so that's the update on the car um, I'll show you it once it's all uh, back together all right guys this is pretty much how it sits I still have to put the rear bumper on, but I figured I would just give you guys a little walk around of the car all together and running. thank you to everybody who helped get this thing back and ready to go jonathan zach chippy you know i couldn't have done it without you guys' help so i still have to uh play with the the fender gap on the rear a little bit if you see where the door is but i just gotta drill another hole and um flatten out a little bit but this is just quick i'm just out of time but yeah So that's going to be it for this video, guys. Like, subscribe, comment, and uh, let me know what you think about the new and improved stepchild. All right, guys. Peace.